What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So recently in one of my gold farming videos I received this comment right here from Asimo. Nice, I'll add this to my farming list. By the way, more daily millionaire routines would be awesome, thanks. And it's a small mini-series that I started a couple of years back where I basically showed you guys what I do when I log into the game. Is there some stuff that I do every single day for a period of time before I do anything else? And there is, and it's constantly changing, uh, because I'm in a position where I don't really need gold, but it's fun to farm. So I always have, like, a set of daily chores that I do, and whenever I get bored of one of them, I swap them out for something else. And in this video, I have uh, nothing, uh, like, nothing that I've showed in uh, the previous Millionaire Routine videos. So it's a complete set of new ways of making gold that I do daily. But... Uh, the only thing that's constant is the first thing that I do is that I log on to my uh, mog, my bank tunes, white mogs where I sell gray and white items, a student bank where I sell my battle pets and toys and recipes, uh, my transmog tune and my materials tune to uh, to check out my sales and see if there's something I need to farm during the day, right? Uh, and by the way. Appreciate the support on the 0 to 10 million gold guide. It's been absolutely massive as always. And I'm so glad that you guys are liking the updates done to the guide. So if you don't have it yet, you can find it linked down below in the description. And by using the discount code DRAGONFLIGHT, you get it for 50% off. And to all of you guys that already have it, and if you enjoy it, you're definitely going to enjoy the VIP Discord as well. It's uh, basically an invite to a VIP-only Discord where you get to watch all my YouTube videos before they go live on YouTube. There's also exclusive content like gold-making tips, spreadsheets, investments, and much more. So you can also check that out in the link down below in the description. So... When I log on to my Transmog tune, I always, uh, you gotta like click on my auctions and take a look uh, and see if there's anything that I sold recently. And then you need to update your TSM by logging on to the tune to see uh, what items you have sold. Because then you can log on to your crafting tunes and you can recraft the items that you've sold. And this is something that I do every day, usually, if I'm not lazy. And while I'm doing that, I'm also doing the daily craft right any profession crafts that you can only do once a day uh, for instance uh, on this blacksmithing tune it would be like the lightning stealing like the panda crafts uh, that you can do and also alchemy transmutes uh, just because well something like uh, this one the ton the, the reborn weapons they do really well and you want to get as many lightning stealing as you can to upgrade it to the highest rank yeah but I pretty much uh, log on to one of my transmog tunes, uh, open up the profession in TSM, and then you need to clear out your crafting queue and you just restock. And it's going to have every single item that you've sold is going to be added to the, the queue of items to craft. So I recraft all of these, all the items that I can with each profession. And then I go over and I do the uh, the daily cooldown crafts on my tunes before I do anything else, just to have that settled. Now, once I've done that on uh, all my crafting tunes, that's when I start the the gold farms, right? The daily gold farms that's constantly changing. Uh, one thing that I always like to do is log on to my starting Solon Death Knight. Um, that's something I've been doing recently, and the reason why is because I'm farming for the Pitchfork. Now, the Pitchfork is an item that you can only obtain. It's a gray item that can only be obtained in the Death Knight starting zone from these mobs that comes in waves. And it sells pretty damn well, right? It's uh, You farm them all along this road right here. Um, and I just kill the farmers, get a couple of the, uh, the item, and then I just log off the tune. I usually, depending on how many I've sold, sometimes I'm not even going to be on the tune because I haven't sold any, but usually I've sold at least one or two of them, and I always re-farm the amount that I've uh, that I've sold. Uh, right now, I've been uh, buying the, the bone plate item, though, because uh, I did notice that I sold a couple of those. Um, but then after getting the, uh, the white items, uh, the pitchforks farmed on uh, Mr. Pitchfork, Mrs. Pitchfork, 
I log on to my Warlock because that's something that I've been selling a lot of lately, the sealed Tomb of Lost Legion. Now, this is, of course, something you can do more than just once a day, but uh, I always start the day off by killing these rare elites. Uh, and it's super simple. It's class-specific, though, so you need to have a Warlock. But you pretty much just go to uh, Isle of Thunder and then you kill a rare elite uh, that has a chance of dropping the sealed tomb of Lost Legion. So I, I do one lap and like right now when I'm selling a fair amount of them, I usually do a couple of laps until I have a stockpile. Right now I have three of them on the auction house. So it's enough to do one lap and then if I'm really bored I can do another one later in the day. But with the three of them I feel confident that... Uh, I'm gonna like just keep on getting more than I can sell so uh, it's not like I need to rush them but if I had zero I would definitely log on to this tune multiple times a day now after logging on to that tune I go to my uh, my blasted lands uh, war and uh, but the people that have been watching uh, that have been watching my videos for a while they know exactly why now I'm doing this because uh, I'm usually recording videos on emerald boxes emerald boxes is a box that you get from a quest turn in a blue quest item that drops from rare mobs in blasted land so i usually have one tune uh chromy time and one tune war mode on and one tune war mode off if i don't have uh, videos recorded on it so you want to get this one did the flawless dranatus sephir i just finished a video on it so uh I haven't uploaded that yet, so I don't really log on to like the war mode on, off, and chromy time because I have some time until I need to restock these again. Uh, but yeah, I just do a lap in Blasted Lands, kill all the elites if they are up. If they're not up, it's kind of the same as the sealed tomb of Lost Legion. Like, uh, if I really need it, I might log on to it like multiple times a day. But it just depends on um, like the, what videos I've recorded, what I feel like doing, and so on. And then right now, after logging onto this tune, there's a bunch of items uh, or camps, daily things that I just finished doing as well. So right now, depending on the amount of time that I have, like am I going to make videos, am I going to live stream, uh, depending on how busy it is at work... But after that, I have a bunch of tunes camped outside of Sol Gurub on this realm and a couple of other realms as well. So I just uh, I log on to those. That was the wrong realm. I log on to those and I run Sol Gurub because Sol Gurub is something that was absolutely insane. I made so much gold running Sol Gurub even now after the hype of it because people still need the recipes uh, and uh, and the the designs and the patterns and all of that. That comes out of Sulgurub. So I log on to as many tunes as I can if I have time. And I run Sulgurub because it's a daily lockout. It's a heroic dungeon. Uh, just to get as many Beedrews as I can. So I can turn in the Beedrews, uh, get the boxes. And then record a video on me opening up the boxes from running Sulgurub. So at the moment, these are my daily routines that I do every single day. But... Like, in two weeks, they're going to be completely different, and I'm uh, going to be bored of doing this stuff, and I've changed out this stuff for something new. So if you guys are interested in seeing my next daily routines, then please just let me know if this was an interesting video at all by leaving a comment down below. And if you do want to see that, make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, because that way you'll be notified whenever my next YouTube video goes up. And uh, that's pretty much it. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide and the VIP Discord link down below. And I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. Until then, bye bye.